is currently Monday and today is actually the last day in the Easter break that we, in Denmark at least, have a day off. So uh, we actually have quite a lot to do uh, today because it was the plan for all this time that in this Easter break we would actually finish the baby's room. But I'm not sure if you can tell from the background yet, but I will show you in a moment. But we are so far from being done with this room and um, yeah, my husband has this day off. I am already on maternity leave, so I do have plenty of time, so lucky me. But I can't just lift so many heavy things at the moment, I just have to be a little careful, so I definitely need his help. I am at the moment just wearing these pajamas. I just thought it would be the most comfortable thing to clean this room up and make this somehow look like a baby's room. Um, I actually bought this yesterday when we went to H&M and I just thought this set here is also comes with a set of pants and I thought this would be the perfect hospital look. I just don't know what happened because apparently I bought this set in a size small. Yeah, really stupid. I definitely needed to size up at least in a size medium because I can barely fit into this. And of course the stomach situation will definitely be smaller and more loose while I'm at the hospital, but still it's a little tight, but I can't be bothered at this point to go and return it. So this is one of the looks. I also bought something more where I will show you what I'm going to pack for the hospital for me and also for the baby as well. We also bought something from H&M Home yesterday for this room, just a little bips and bobs, nothing wild at all, but I think I will actually just show you now because I have the bag uh, right here so we can just unbox it together. The first thing that I'm going to show you is this, not sure if you can tell, but it is a pillowcase. And I just love how neutral and cozy this one looks. I think I will probably style it in her bed. Maybe if it is possible to fit in a lounge chair in this room, we would definitely do it. But at this point, I'm not sure if we will be able to actually have room for it. But I just thought it looked very, very cute and comfy. So I just had to grab it. And then I just bought this little lamp right here. We have like a, a very beautiful woody uh, antique console table that will go into this room. And I just thought that this lamp here would be the perfect addition to the table. So I would style the table with this, uh, with this lamp. And also I would, we just bought this um, frame here with the light wood in the sides and just a poster from H&M Home as well. And yeah, I know it's not very childish, like it's not very <laughs> uh, kids friendly. Uh, as you can probably tell from this picture here, this is how it looks that this will go into here. Um, but for now, when she doesn't have any opinions on how her room is going to look like or anything, then it is me will pick all the things so her time will come so I actually just thought I would go for something neutral and something that will just fit uh, the rest of the apartment so that we do have like this red frit going on so this was actually the little haul that I wanted to show you from aging at home but let me just before we start to organize this room here, I will just show you how chaotic it is at the moment and how much work we actually have to get done. All right, so for this angle here, we have her bed. Of course, asked our son if it was okay that the new sister will get his old bed and he was totally fine with it. So we thought, perfect, then one thing down. Um, so we just ordered a new bed for him. So it's not arrived yet, but it will arrive, I think, in five days or so. So that's perfect. So we have this one here. This one we have here. That's another bed. And it is a bedside crib, which we will attach to our bed in our bedroom. 
so she's going to sleep with us every night so actually we don't need that for now but it is just nice when she takes an afternoon nap so on that I'm able to put her in this one here and over here we have the little console table that I was mentioning earlier it is really beautiful when you see it in yeah in a proper way it's difficult here and over here I'm not even sure why we have this hanger thing in this room anyway it's here and we have to remove it this one here is our practical little nursery station and of course we have to organize it and fill it up but this is a very nice nursery station and we just have to organize this one as well yes this is how it looks and I just think we should get started. There's nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> Is that what you say? <laughs> finally done with the nursery room and I really love the result in here. I think we actually did quite a good job and love just the vibe here. So I thought I would do a little room tour so I could take you guys along and explain a little about our inspirations and decor and everything. So starting over here, we have this very, very beautiful console table. It is an old Chinese table that we actually stole from our son's room. We just thought that the sizing and the colors and everything were a way better suit in here. And for now, I just started with this beautiful brown lamp. This little picture here from H&M Home, just bought it recently. Just love the colors here, just ties everything super beautifully together. And also just stacked some books and a little horse. I hope she will love horses as much as I do. So over here, we have probably my favorite corner of them all in this room. Uh, this chair here is from Sarah Home and this pillow here is from H&M Home. And I just know that I will spend so many hours in this chair breastfeeding and keeping an eye on the baby here. and. It's just a perfect place because I also had a beautiful view over the city here and who knows, maybe I'm super lucky that I will get served some coffee here as well. I mean, the table is right here, so... Of course. <laughs> just need my little bill Coming right to up. ring. So every time I ring it, I hopefully will get some coffee because I assume it will be very much needed with lack of a lot of sleep. We just have this lamp and also some more books just to style and make this corner here a little more cozy. Here we have a beautiful bed. This one here is from a brand called Zebra. So the really smart thing about this bed is that you can have it like it is now as a baby's bed 
but you can also make it larger and make it a junior bed as well. But we decided that we would love to put it in this room because the color and everything just uh, makes so much sense in here. Moving on to the nursery station right here. I really think that this nursery station is such a beautiful piece with this detailing that we have down here so it makes it more as a furniture instead of only a nursery station like a practical furniture. The only thing that annoys me a little bit with this one is that it is a cabinet situation here and when you really are in a hurry and you have to change diapers and things have to go quite quickly sometimes then it would be nice if there were drawers instead of cabinets so if some of you are in doubt whether going for drawers or cabinets on your nursery station i would definitely go for drawers but that is just my recommendation but it really fits beautiful with the bed and everything here moving on to our cabinets we have these very very beautifully made cabinets in this room this side here will be hers for now and I think we do have plenty of room here so it's fine oh um, wait a moment just a little shout out to my previous vlog where I did a little what's in my hospital bag for both the baby and for me so if you want some tips and so on you can go and watch it so it is packed and ready for her to, uh, to arrive so it's right here um, in here is her cabinet and we do have as I said plenty of room for all of her cute clothing and we actually have from newborn until one years old so yeah we don't need any new clothing I would say yeah just styling some of her cute dresses and so on and here we also got some socks some small shoes and a little scarf situation plenty of those and also some hats and so on so we do have quite a lot of things in here and there as you can tell there it's quite spacious still so i think it's perfect overall the most important thing for us in this room were to place all the large furniture and have them in place and sort it out because that is the most important thing so later on we will obviously make it even more personal i still think it's such a great room and i think that everything looks very good together in here i just hope that you got some inspiration and maybe some tips and so on but otherwise i will link all the furniture below and if you have any question regarding this room or the furniture just please reach out and otherwise have a great day and see you.